Welcome back to BC Sports Cards. I'm BC, and today I'm going to do a mail day video. And what I have for you today is the long awaited um, home run challenge cards from 2023. I was alerted by Tops that um, the cards that I won in the home run challenge for uh, 2023 was being processed starting November 8th. And they just came in today. So, what's that? Almost uh, four months it took them. I did get six, I hit six cards. So, that's the most I've ever hit. Um, I kind of procrastinated. I had a bunch of them from Series 1 and Series 2. And I waited to the last minute. And they're all from September. So, I'm not sure what these are going to be numbered out of. I haven't looked at these. So we're going to get into this and see what uh, which ones I got and what they're number two. And then I've got an eBay purchase I want to show you. It's a pretty cool card. So we'll get to that in just a minute. But let's get these out here. And we'll put this to the side. Actually, it's got the images on it, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But I think they probably all put them in a, put them all in a jewel case. So maybe a couple, I'm not sure. So let's get this open and see what we got. You can see the, well, I'll see it in a second. Wow. I've seen some people um, put these on YouTube or put them into a video, and they said they really looked nice. I've gotten these for, uh, in years past, but they did a spectacular job on these. These are really cool. So let's get these out. You can see the top one's Boba Shit, so that's that's a good one. He's someone I PC. So first one up, Boba Shit, and that's numbered. Let's see, out of 372, 266 out of 372. So pretty low numbered actually, and so very nice love the way these look it's almost it's not chrome but it's very much foil like and very shiny the next one is Fernando Tatis Jr so very nice and I've seen some really high numbered ones for September I think Kyle Schwarber was in the thousand range this one's numbered out of 278 it's hard for me to see with the uh, because it's kind of a dark background. 211 out of 278, so that's pretty low numbered. We'll definitely take that. Fernando Tatis Jr. He may end up having a monster monster year in 2024, so you know he'll have a full season of play. Next one is Francisco Lindor. And that one's numbered, that one's higher. That's 920. So a lot of people hit on Lindor in September. So very cool. 712 out of 920. Very nice. The next one, Freddie Freeman. Nice. And <laughs> yeah, that one's not so low numbered. It's numbered out of 1026. So a lot of people hit on Freddie. 747 out of uh, 1026. Um, I've got one in here that's going to be probably fairly no, low numbered because he was hurt most uh, a lot of the year. So we'll get to that one maybe next. Juan Soto. Hitting some really good names. Wow. That one's numbered out of 170, 177. 127 out of 177. Maybe you'll see it on the little focus. See the 177. That's lower than what I thought but very cool and this last one I think I just got lucky on it because I didn't think I was going to get to use it because he was hurt but he came back within the last month of the season and it is Chris Bryant and actually it's numbered higher than what I thought 294 out of 482 so um, he didn't hit many home runs last year, so um, 
I guess some people were waiting to use his home run challenge cards. He didn't play a lot. So very cool. So those are the six cards. Very nice. Very shiny. And just, I mean, those are all all-star players. So very cool. Um, let me know in the comments which one of those is your favorite. The lowest numbered one was the Juan Soto, I believe. But some of them were pretty low numbered. So I'll take it. All right, let's get into this um, eBay pickup. This is uh, someone I PC, and it's an autograph card. And I don't I have one other auto of him, and he does not sign for tops. So this is not a tops card, um, but he's a PC player of mine for the Cubs. See if we can get this tape off of here. And this is a pretty low numbered card, I think. But uh, I can get it out of here. Well, nope. struggling with this tape. Maybe that got it. Nope. Okay, I'll get it off here eventually. There it comes. All right. So it's a Seiya Suzuki. Uh, this is a Leaf card, Leaf Clear. Let me get this out of the top loader. He uh, he, he he doesn't sign for tops. I guess he signed with Panini because you can find his autographs in Panini products, and I guess Leaf. I just thought this was a cool card. You can see how it's a clear acetate. So very nice. I'm not sure if it's on card. I'm going to get it out and check. I can't remember. And I think it's on card. Be careful with it. No, it's a sticker. I see the sticker now. Yep, it's a sticker auto. But very cool. Numbered 49 out of 50. So he's just not... He's one I just haven't... His autos have come down some, and I think I paid, I don't know, it was like $11 for this, but the only other one I have of him is a dual uh, autograph card with him and James Triantos on a leaf metal. So, uh, would like to get some more, I, I may try to in the future, but wanted to get Saya, he's, he's a... PC player of mine. I really like him. Hope he has a great year in 2024. Had a great uh, second half of the season last year. So very nice. So that's the video. Again, uh, like this video. Uh, let me know in the comments which one was your which one was just, uh, your favorite home run challenge card. And uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm I'm six away from 200. So looking forward to that. Appreciate everyone's support. And I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.